another Teacher's Corner. I am Teacher Kirby and today I'm going to be talking about the Embassy Consoles, Plasma Explosion Consoles, as they're usually called. So I'm currently on my Fleet Star Base and I'm going to head, I'm going to take my shuttle to my Fleet Embassy. Okay. And as you see I'm beaming out. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so I'm now at my fleet embassy. You see it's dropped me in the shuttle bay. Nice reflective floor. I'm going to come up the ramp. And I'm going to come to this console right here where it says requisition space equipment. Okay, and as I interact, I'm going to access the store. You can see my fleet has quite a few things. All right, so you see there's quite a number of things here. There's weapon signature nullifiers and weapon signature amplifiers. All right, so weapon signature nullifiers reduce the amount of threat that you generate, okay? Weapon signature amplifiers increase the amount of threat that you generate. So if you are a threat tank, you want everybody to be shooting at you, you want to say, hey, look at me, da, 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 then you want weapon signature amplifier. If you are not a threat tank, then you want weapon signature nullifiers. And the other thing you'll notice is that for everyone, there is a Mark 10, Mark 11, and Mark 12. So normally we buy the Mark 10. Why? Because we're going to be upgrading it anyway. So it has four chances this time to get to Epic before it gets to level 14. Also you notice there's a significant difference between Mark 10 and Mark 12 pricing. So I can get four Mark 10, four or five Mark 10s and come just under, just over the cost for one Mark 12. So it's significantly cheaper to buy the Mark 10. Okay. Now I want plasma infused consoles, which is the plasma generating. These are the ones that give me the plasma explosion. So make sure you, it says plasma generating. All right. Now you'll notice it has a proc. The ones we're looking at at the very top say control X. You would get possibly these if you're looking at doing a control build, something that uses a lot of control powers. A super gravity well build, for example, would use at least some control X of these consoles. All right, I'm going to scroll down, of course, because I don't want just Control X. I want, you see we also have Stealth. Eh, I really don't see much of a use for Stealth. It increases your ability to stay cloaked and not be detected. If you're going for an exotic particle damage build, you would go with EPG or exotic particle damage. This will boost your stats for that. Okay. And of course, if you're going for a drain build, you would go with drain X. Okay. And of course, because we are, let's see, we also have PER, which is perception. So this improves the detection of cloaked ships. Maybe for PvP I could see this, but really for PvE it's not needed. Okay, we also have again Drain X. This is our weapon signature nullifiers. Okay, so we want. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Plasma explosion. All right, and of course we have the amplifiers. We have shield heal also. <clears throat> this
this gives you some extra healing for shields. You could possibly use this if you need a bit extra shield heal. And you are a tank. Now, I want Drain X. I'll explain why I want Drain X. I'm using a Plasmonic Leech. The Drain X will increase the effectiveness of the Plasmonic Leech for every console that I have on. I also want, and you see it says adds plasma explosion proc to energy weapons. This is what I want. Okay, so I'm going to get five of these. Even though I don't have five consoles on this ship, I may not stay in this ship. I'm going to be leveling up other ships. I'm going to be testing other ships as we go. So I may not stay in this ship. I may go into a ship that has five consoles. So I want five consoles. So I'm going to get one and make sure I'm getting the nullifiers. Two, three, four, and five. All right. So I've gotten my five Drainex Weapon Signature Nullifiers. And you'll notice as I was doing this, my some of these became grayed out because I did not have enough resources to buy the higher level items. Okay, so I now have my five consoles. They are at Mark 10. Now I can slap them on my ship right now or now here's the important thing. The damage with these scales as they go up, as with our weapons and anything else, the damage increase between Mark, even Mark 14 Ultra Rare and Mark 14 Epic is absolutely insane. Okay, it is important, most important out of anything that you're going to upgrade that these go epic. You want to have these at epic so that you get the maximum amount out of them and it is literally insane the difference. So I'm going to upgrade these. I'm going to put a tech upgrade here and these are actually quite cheap to upgrade these consoles. It's actually surprising how cheap it is to upgrade these consoles. And there we go. And I want to get these. Now see, now they're the same as what I would have bought with the Mark 12. And now they're 13. And there we go. And let's hope and it did not go epic. I'm going to go ahead and leave that and upgrade another one to 14. Hopefully it will go epic. But that only cost me eight upgrades to get that to 14. And I'm hoping these next ones will go epic so I can show you at least one of these, the damage difference. And do, 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 do. Okay, that did not pop either. All right. Let's get this. That's, hopefully I'll be lucky. And boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, upgrade, cross your fingers. R and Jesus is not my friend today. Here we go. Alright. We'll get these all up to fourteen and then I will pop at least one of them epic to show you. Here we go. And always remember, once it goes to 14, it's only a matter of putting enough dilithium into it. Eventually it will go epic. As I said before, consoles are actually quite cheap to upgrade, surprisingly so. And these are no exception to that. All right, and upgrade, and let's try that again, and no, nope, not quite, here we go, and one more, all right, claim item, did 
not go epic, so I'm going to keep pumping into this one until it does. Hopefully it will not take too much. But this is why we buy at mark 10, so that it does have four chances. Unfortunately, none of these went, but that's okay. We're going to keep putting into it. Come on. Go epic. 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 Not quite. Try that again. And there we go. Epic. All right. So we have one that went epic. Let me claim it. And so that you can get a good indication here. Let's go back to our fleet shuttle to Starbase. We'll go back to our Starbase and I'll go into System Space so you can see. And I'm just going to beam to ship. Alright. You always want to view these damages in System Space. And here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my things. Now, here was our 14 epic. So you see it adds plasma explosion proc. And okay, it's not going to show us the damage unless we actually equip it on our ship. There we go. There we go, okay. So it gives us 2.5% chance, 4,869.1 plasma damage, ignores shields. Now, as a comparison, here's the ultra rare, 3,516, okay, 4,869, 3,516. So it adds over 1,300 plasma damage, okay, just from going epic to, at mark 14, okay. So very, very valuable, and this is per explosion, by the way, which does, as you'll recall, bypass shields. So a very nice little thing. You want to have a ship if you're going to use this with at least three science consoles to get the minimum, really the most benefit out of it. Um, five will give you the most benefit. People can see crazy numbers from these things. Okay, Haste is important because the more it fires, the more these explosions will proc. It is beneficial to have more than one. The more you can fit, the better. You'll get more out of it. So, and you can get these at the Embassy. Remember, buy at Mark 10. Upgrade to 14 Epic as soon as possible. And if there's something you have to take to Epic first, this would be it. And that has been Teacher's Corner, the Plasma Explosion Consoles from the Embassy. You can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on the Pilot Review Show. I look forward to seeing you there.